Hello, Sensei Patrick Curley here from Atascadero Shotokan Karate. Today we're going to go, be going over a heavy bag workout. I have a heavy bag behind me. Uh, if you have a heavy bag at home, that will be very helpful. If you have a kick shield uh, or focus mitts and a partner, this would also work. So today we're going to be going over uh, single techniques. So this is going to be a basic workout, but we're going to be doing um, 20 repetitions per side. So you will get a great workout out of it. Uh, we're trying to get connection with the bag or the target that we're striking. Make sure that you do not injure yourself. Make sure you properly warm up the, especially the wrists and ankles, um, and also warm up the muscles. We're going to go through a brief warm up, and then we're going to begin our workout with the heavy bag. Hey, okay, let's begin. From here, chin to the chest, up, itch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hach, ku, ju. Looking from side to side, itch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hach, ku, ju. Ear to shoulder, itch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hach, ku, Ju. From here, uh, looking towards the side of the, the room. Itch, ni, sun, shi, go, rok, sitch, ach, ku, ju. Chin of the chest. Itch, ni, sun, shi, go. And reverse. Itch, ni, Sun, she, go. Rolling the shoulders forward each. Knee, sun, she, go. And reverse each. Knee, sun, she, go. From here, big arm circles. Each. Knee, sun, she, go. Rook, sitch, hach, ku. Ju and reverse, each, knee, sun, she, go, rope, sitch, hunch, ku, ju, hugger, sitch, knee, sun, she, go, rope, sitch, hunch, ku, ju, hands on the hips, big circles, each, Ni, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hach, ku, ju, and reverse, each, ni, sun, she, go, rook, Sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Hands on the knees, feet together. Rotating, each, me, sun, she, go, rook. Sitch, hutch, ku, ju, and reverse, each, me, sun, she, go, rook. Sitch, Hach, ku, ju. Let's wake up those ankles, turn those toes down, up, hitch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hach, ku, ju. So make sure you can see what I'm doing here. Side to side, each, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hach, ku, ju. Knife edge down, each, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, Hach, ku, ju, and switch. Point those toes down and up. Each, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hach, ku, ju, side to side. Each, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hach, ku, ju, knife edge down. Each, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, hach, ku, ju. Very good. From here, hands are up. Heels to the back of the thigh. Let's warm up those legs. Each, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sitch, 
Arch. Ku. Ju. Hands are down. Kick me opposite hand. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Broke. Sitch. Touch. Ku. Ju. Very good. Interlock the fingers. Knees to the chest. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Broke. Sitch. Punch. Ku. Ju. Good. From here, feet are apart. Go slightly out. Hands out. Ten squats. Each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Broke. Sitch. Hutch. Ku. Ju. Come down. Hold. Try to get your elbows or triceps on the inside of your knees. Pushing out. Just rock side to side. Stretch out at Achilles. Back of the leg. Back of the calf. Toes forward. Go ahead and just hang. You can keep your knees <clears throat> slightly unlocked if you'd like. Go ahead and just grab your hands together. Kind of like an elephant trunk. Just rock side to side. Start to lean forward and down. Good. Roll up slow. Very good. Okay. From here. Let's get a couple lunges in. We need to really warm up the legs. We're going to be doing some kicking. Uh, we really want them to be warm before we do this. All right, hands around the hips. Ten lunges. Each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Broke. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. Ju. Very good. From here. Hands in front. Just swinging the leg straight between the hands. Nice and easy. Don't get don't don't have the leg back. Don't build up any momentum. Just lift it straight up. Nice and easy. Each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Broke. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. Ju. Ten more. Each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Broke. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. Ju. Good. From here, turn your support foot. Turn your support foot away. Turn your chest slightly away so you can really open up that hip. Make sure the toes are aimed slightly down, not up. They should, shouldn't be aimed to the side. Mine might be here, but I really want to turn that hip over to make sure my toe, my, my foot and leg is in the right position. Hands are up. Itch. Knee. Sun. Look towards your foot. She. Go. Broke. Sitch. Hatch, Ku, Ju, and switch. Turn the support foot away, just like you throw a round kick or a side thrust kick or even a side snap kick. Ready? Each, knee. Try to turn those toes down. Sun, Shi. Try not to lean forward. Go, Rook, Sitch, Hatch, Ku. Ju and down. Good. Shake up the legs. Should be starting to wake up from here. Hands are up. Bend the knees. Look over your right shoulder. Swing the leg. Keep the knees straight. Each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Broke. Sitch. Hatch. Ju, make sure to look at that foot. 
turn the chest slightly. Make sure your chin is looking at your, your heel. Each, toes are down. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Broke. Seach. Hatch. Ku. Ju. And down. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to warm up the wrists. So from here, just pressing nice and light, pushing the wrists together. We're going to be hitting the bag today. So we need to make sure our wrists are nice and uh, uh, warmed up and uh, stretched out a little bit. Okay. Go ahead and grab around the wrist with the, the, index, or the, the middle finger and the thumb. You just try to use the hand, pressing the wrist down and the elbows together like this. Nice and easy. You shouldn't feel pain. You should feel slight discomfort. But we're stretching. We're not tearing. And switch. Thumb, middle finger. My wrist is pushing my other wrist down. Very good. Grab the wrist, pull it, grab the meat of your hand here, pull it down and into your chest. Like you're doing a wrist lock on yourself. Good, and switch. Good. Shake it out. Just come up and down. Up and down. I'm really pushing my fingers up right now. Now I'm pushing my fingers and my wrist down. Good. Shake it out. All right. Let's warm up the, uh, the feet real quickly from here. Maybe I can show you this from here. We're going to go into a seiza or kneeling position and our, the balls of our feet are on the floor. And we're just going to sit down onto our heels here and just kind of get comfortable with that. If this is painful, you can kind of sit up like this, okay, here, nice and easy. Go ahead and press the knees forward and just hold. Good, and then come on and bring it back. Good, one more time, bring them forward, stretch out those toes. We're gonna to get a little bit of abuse today. Bring them on back, one more time. And come on back, nice and easy. Okay, shake everything out. Remember, when we're striking the bag, you don't have to hit it as hard as you can. Um, we're aiming for connection with the bag, not just brute force, um, we're trying, we're, we're definitely trying to generate power, but if we're just focusing on, on power, usually our technique tends to go south. So uh, make sure you have good connection with the bag over, um, you know, raw power, and then focus on, um, you know, make sure you're not injuring yourself. If something's hurting, modify it or go to another technique, but don't injure yourself. This is not what karate is about. It's prolonging ourselves, making ourselves healthier. Okay? so. With that, let's begin. Right? From here, we're going to start with Kizamizuki or jab. We're going to throw each technique 20 times each side. First 10 are slow, second 10 are full speed. We're not going to be using footwork today, we're just going to be using the technique itself. Um, so we're going to be very close to the bag on each, each strike. So make sure you have proper distance, number one. Make sure you're able to reach the target on your strike. Okay, and when we throw that the Kizamizuki for karate, for, for sparring purposes, maybe we bring up the hand, but for today, we're just going to bring this hand back to the hip, and we're going to pull the shoulder back and extend into the target. My body weight is dropping down, and I'm striking into the back. Make sure to keep this elbow slightly unlocked. Squeeze the pinky fingers and strike with the two striking knuckles. Ready? From here. Ten times, get your distance, itch, knee, sun, she, go, broke, sitch, hatch, Two. 
Jew. Good. Now, I'm going to switch sides and do the other, t other side ten times slowly. Okay? Good form. Breathing out at the end of your strike. Try to keep the shoulders down. Make sure you have good distance. And you're not ending here, but you're going through the bag. Close. So not pushing, but penetrating into the bag. So make sure your distance is correct for that. From here. Itch. Knee. Son. She. Go. Broke. Sitch. Hatch. Coo. Chew. Good. Switch sides. Ten times. Full speed now. Drive your body into the target without moving your feet. We're using our hips, our knees, and then turning our shoulder into the target. Look right down the barrel of your arm. I'm going to do 10 without counting. Ready? Right? And switch. So I felt myself pulling back a little bit before I extended my strike, trying to get more power. Don't do that. Try to stay loose, loose, tense, and then relaxed again. So don't let your shoulders come up or don't pull back before you strike. Ten times, full speed on the other side. Ready? Begin. Shake out the hands, they might take a little bit of abuse, that's okay. Again, make sure when you're striking, we're punching with the index and the middle finger top knuckle, not the bottom. So, here, these two here. Good, okay. Yakuza. Again, make sure your punch doesn't stop here. Make sure your punch is able to go through the back. So adjust your footwork as needed. We're gonna start with our hand on our hip. We're gonna turn our hips back. And Hanma here, and when I punch, I'm going to punch and drive my hip and my body weight forward. I'm not stepping. I'm just using my legs and my hips. Ten times, and then we're going to switch. Slowly. And switch. Vary your target. I was going Jodon, Chudon, and I was even going a couple Gaidons. So distinguish your target. You can switch it up. Just make sure you're making good connection with the back. Slowly. Okay, from here, turn this hip back, shoulder back, drive with that heel, hip into the target. Thank you. 
and yame. Let's switch to the other side. We're gonna add some, a little bit more speed and power to the technique. Remember, squeeze that pinky. It's gonna connect the forearm, the wrist, and the hand all together. Keep the elbows in tight. Don't be throwing your gyakuzuki here, okay? Should be nice and tight. These forearms are rubbing against the body when I throw my, my punch. switch. As a note, make sure you don't just punch and come back. Make sure you're driving through. Again, we're trying to get connection with the back. So make sure your, your, your body is in this position at the end of your punch. Don't just punch and come back like you're trying to score a point in Kumite. All right? So left side now. Get your distance. Stretch it out a little bit. There we go. Ready? Driving off this back leg, back ankle, hip. Yame. Okay, so you got your wrists. Very good. Okay, so we're going to be doing hand techniques first, then we're going to go into our kicking techniques. Next technique we're going to throw is a cross arm, a cross body empe. Empe. Elbow. So we're coming across our body. When we're striking, we're going to strike with this bulbous part of our elbow at the joint here. Okay, right here. Not the forearm. We want to cut. And to cut, we're going to use that sharp, and I need to turn, just like a Gakazuki, but even more so, not stopping here. My chest is going to move here, 45. Not straight forward. I'm not going to go here, because I can't turn my hip. I need to be able to turn my hip into that strike. So from here, come across, boom. Kind of like in uh, Heian Nidon. I mean, we turn that hip here, same, same exact feeling. So you may shorten your stance. I'm going to shorten mine because MP is probably not supposed to be thrown from here. If you, can, if you can twist your hips that way, that's amazing. I don't think most people can though. So that's why we, we, we lighten our stance up. It's a shorter range technique, so I'm not going to be in a long stance. I'm going to come across here. We'll go, um, you can do uh, judon, judon or chudon, whichever you prefer, okay? Make sure to hit the side of the back. So I'm going to start with this side so you can see. Striking the side of the back. Don't come across here or you'll get to learn what, like, uh, it's kind of like rug burn. It really hurts really bad. It'll, it'll take some skin off you. So make sure when you strike, you're striking correctly. And again, we want to be hitting the side of the back here. Make sure to try to keep the shoulder down. Lighten your stance a little bit. Okay? Nice and easy. Ten times. Ready? Put our hand down just like a... Just like a modified, nice and easy and relaxed. Ready? And switch your feet. Again, make sure you're not in a long front stance. You'll, feel, you'll find out really why quickly. You can't turn that hip over like you need to. Okay, get your range. 
Make sure you're hitting that bulbous part of your elbow right there. Hand down, shoulders relaxed. Again, vary your targets if you'd like. on the bag a little bit. This is a, uh, you'll find these are a lot more durable than our hands. Our hands are made up of dozens of tiny bones. This is just one very thick, sharp bone. So you can go a little harder and not worry about injuring yourself. But if, it, if it starts to hurt, back off. Okay, lighten your stance. Make sure you're in line with the bag, not over here. Make sure when you're striking the bag, you're in line with it. Don't go from side to side here. Stay right in line with the back. Get your distance. Ten times. I'm not counting. And switch. Make sure you're in line with the bag, coming to the edge of it, to the side. If you want to, you can even grab the bag. I'll grab for a couple. Whichever you prefer. Shake it out. You might feel a little warm sensation in your joints and, uh, and your bones, and that's a good thing. Um, this is making them denser. That's why we strike things. That's why we have opponents. We're, we're, we're hitting our arms and, and, and striking the bag because it builds up that bone density, which is needed. We need to be tough and dura durable, not, not fragile. When you know, If we've never hit something before, you really find out quickly, um, you know, where the weaknesses in your, your technique are. So, okay, next one, Tetsui. Hammer fist. Now, hammer fist, a lot of times in our kata, we throw from here. But we do have some in our kata like this. And this is the way we're gonna throw it because this is kind of challenging with the angle of the bag. So, we're gonna be coming across here. And what I'm doing is, my chest is relaxed. And then I'm opening here. I'm opening my chest, but what I'm really doing is I'm squeezing here, I'm squeezing these shoulder blades together, like there's an orange back there. And then I'm actually extending my power into the bag. So I'm not just standing here, open, close, open, close. I'm striking and pushing with the hip and the leg as well. Strike. Really turning that hip into the target. Where I'm striking is not the pinky. I'm striking here, the meat of the hand, the wrist, this area here. Okay, so try not to hit here. This is not, not the best target for you. From here, again, line yourself up with the bag. From here, and then across. You don't want to, again, you don't want to scrape the bag here. You want to hit the side here, okay? So from here, we'll just start with our, our arms crossed here and chest con um, concave here. So from here, striking, itch. Good. I'm not going to count the rest. Make sure to look at the target. And you can vary your targets.
and switch. switch. Okay, I was going a little harder than slow, a little faster than slow, and a little more power than, than relaxed, but you can really lay into these, these strikes. Okay, so from here, 10 more, full, P, full speed, full power. Ready? On your own. Make sure you have a great stance too. Lock those feet in. Yame. Shake it out. You're gonna feel that in your shoulders, you feel that in your back. All right, next technique. Two more hand techniques, and then we're gonna go to our feet. From here, height or ridge hand. So from here, ridge hand, a lot of people strike with the fingers, uh, the fingers here. You don't want that. What you want to strike with, see here, is this section of the hand and the wrist. Okay, this is strong. You don't want to be jamming your thumb up, okay? So you really want to strike this section here. Oh, let me show that here, right here. All right. Don't come up with a big hooking technique either. You want to come in straight, kind of like a punch, uh, like a punch. From here, striking, usually it's uh, neck level, temple. Uh, these are the usual targets for this, this striker, even the, the jaw. All right, so here. Uh, or even the front of the throat if you if you come from a, an angle. Okay, so nice and easy. Again, make sure you're in a good stance. We're gonna use go you know, this side first so we can see it. Get your distance. You want to be striking the side of the bag, not the front of the bag. You don't want to be scraping anything. You want to hit solidly here. I try to hit more towards the wrist. Again, hit back, throw it just like a punch. Strike in here. Ready? Ten times on your own. Keep those shoulders down. Keep that elbow unlocked. through the bag and switch. Again, line yourself up with the bag. Hit the side of the bag, make sure you're breathing out. Twist those hips, good stance.
and switch. It's time. Full speed, full power. Go with what level you need to go with. Don't injure yourself. Breathing out. And don't come out with a big hooking motion. We want this to be concealed. Power is going to come from our legs and our hips, not our shoulder. Ten times on your own. switch. Use those hips. Okay, our next technique, the hand technique we're going to be going over is uh, shuto uke. Uh, not shuto uke, uh, just a shuto strike from here. So we know this is a shuto knife hand block, but we're going to come across here and strike to the neck here. What we're aiming for is this section of the hand uh, here in the wrist. Okay, don't aim for the pinky. Again, we're loading it just like we would a block. We're going to keep the shoulder down. But we're going to bring the shoulder back and the hip back and then come across, striking here, here. Okay? Don't come way out like this. Keep it in tight and then twist, driving with the hip. You may need to keep a shorter stance. I know I will. You show from this side first. Line yourself up with the bag. You can drop this hand down. This hand comes up. Keep the shoulder, the hip back, and as we turn into the strike, turn the hand over. Try to keep the fingers tight to each other. You don't want it loose. You want to keep it tight, uh, squeezing together, and the thumb in here. Okay, nice and easy. Ten times. switch. Line yourself up with the bag, hip and shoulder back, you're in relatively close, you're going to be striking the side of the bag. Good. Switch your feet. A little bit more power. Use those hips to whip into the back. Ten times.
Yame. Shake out your hands. All right, so that concludes our hand, uh, our hand strikes, arm strikes. Uh, we're now going to be going into some kicking. So with all these kicks, pull the toes up. So make sure when your feet here, make, your feet are here, pull the toes back. And on front kick, you're going to push the ball forward, but still pull the toes back. On side kick, same thing. You're going to pull the toes back, and you're really driving with the knife edge heel of the kick here. Okay. Um, on, we'll go over the other foot positions as we kick. Okay. So nice and easy. Start with the leg back. Get your positioning first. Get your distance. Here, knees, ankles are relaxed. My knees going to come up. Kick the bag. And I'm going to land forward. Every single time I'm going to land forward. I'm kicking the bag. The bag's not kicking me. Well, physics would say otherwise, but we're kicking that bag. It's not going to knock us back. Okay? So from here, we're dropping down into our kick. Knee comes up. Hips go forward. Kick. And down. Ten times. Nice and easy. We're not worried too much about power right now. We're just worried about connection with the bag. Don't push the bag. Try to strike in through it like, like a spear. switch. You don't pull your toes back, you're going to find out real quickly why. The other side now, keep the shoulders down, knee down, hips forward, keep the chest and the hips forward as you kick. Adjust your distance if you need to. Try to keep your hands up. Even white belts, yellow belts, keep your hands up here for now. This is my Gary Kayage front snap kick. Don't spin the bag like that. Try to keep the center of the bag. Let the shoulders come up as you kick. Good, and switch. Okay, put a little bit more power into it this time. Switch your feet, keep the shoulders down. Body, shoulders, hips towards that target. Shoot that hip into it forward as you kick. Switch your feet.
Get those knees up. Those up. Two more. Good. You should feel good connection with the floor as you kick. Your support foot should be down. Your heel should be down. You should not be lifting up. Your body shouldn't be coming up as you're kicking. You should be knees and ankles are relaxed as you're driving into the kick. So make sure those, those feet aren't coming up. The support foot's not coming up. Okay, next one we're going to throw is Yokogiri. Uh, we're going to do Keikome. Actually, we'll do Keiage, but go very light on the bag. Uh, this is not a great kick for a heavy bag. So just try to tap it easily, even when you're going full power. We don't want to injure our knees, okay? And so from here, from white or yellow belt, what we're going to do, what we're, yeah, what we're going to do from here, load, turn that support foot, keep, keep the uh, heel behind the knee, and then kick out, back, and down. Try not to lean forward. So load, look at your target, out back and down. We're not kicking with the bottom of the foot, we're kicking with the knife edge, the side of the foot, preferably towards the heel. Don't kick towards the toe. From here, load, kick out, back, and down. For orange and above, orange belts and above, get your distance, go nice and easy, kick, and down. Try to land the heel towards the center of your target. So try not to spin the back. From here I'm going to go with my this leg back for right now. Nice and easy. Ten times. Remember, you're snapping it back immediately or not locking it out like a thrust kick. This is a hard one on the heavy bag. It's not really designed for a, throwing a, like a side snap kick to the body or the chest, maybe for the softer targets. Okay, from here, back leg nice and easy. For white and yellow, we're going to be from the side here, load, snap out, back, and down. Just feel a nice connection with the bag. Make sure you feel balanced as you're kicking. If you're kicking and falling back, readjust your support foot and your distance. Look towards your foot as you're kicking. Turn that support foot away. Try not to drive too much into the bag. Again, don't hurt your knees. Just feel a nice connection with it. Try to keep your hips underneath your shoulders. Don't lean forward. Adjust to your height. You need to kick knee height. That's fine. You can kick hip, you can kick hip or head. That's even better. Don't worry about it so much. Worry about connection. And the placement of your foot. A few more. And 
switch your feet. And yame. Yaste. Shake it out. Deep breath in. Kicks take a lot of energy, a lot more than uh, a punch. Even when we're using our legs and our hips to run the punch, legs just take a lot more. These are very heavy. We're balancing on one leg, which makes it even more, more challenging and taxing on the one leg. So it does take a lot more to kick. Okay, from here. Yokogari Kikome, side thrust kick. On this kick, again, we're not loading the heel behind the knee. The heel is slightly in front of the knee as we lift it up here. So when I drive into the kick, I'm turning my support foot away and I'm stretching out my body, kicking this way, pushing my, my support foot, turning my support foot away from the kick. So from here, knee comes up, I'm kicking with the knife edge heel, Chin is up, looking to the target. Thrust, back, and down. Okay, this is for white and yellow. Knee comes up, heel is slightly ahead of the knee, so I can push with that, that glute in my lower back and my, my uh, hamstring. So, okay, for orange and above. Here, here. Knee comes up, again. Start to get the heel or the foot in front of the knee. Thrust, land in front. One more time. Knee comes up. Don't stop. Don't load and then go. You want to make it one smooth. Even if you're going slow, don't stop your kick. All right. Okay. Let's go. Uh, start with this leg. Hands are up. Nice and easy. Line yourself up with the bag. Pull those toes back, strike with the knife edge heel. Thrust it out, don't snap now. Try not to drop your hands. Towards your foot. And switch your feet now. It's a wider yellow. You're here. You turn to the other leg now. Line yourself up with the target. Take the center of the bag. Pull those toes back. Towards your foot as you're kicking. One more. Good. All right, we're 
we're switching sides now. A little bit more speed, a little bit more power. Don't forget to breathe at the very end of your, your kick. So the, the breath and the end of the kick, locking out, should be the same instant. All right, so we're really focusing on that to maximize our power, and keep us relaxed as well. Hands are up. 10 times. Get that knee across the body if you're throwing from the leg back. All right, ready? On your own. Ajay. Try to get your foot down fast after that kick. Good. And switch your feet. Ten times. Deep breath in. And out. And out. Okay. Just your distance. Hush. Begin. One more. Yame. Shake out those feet, shake out the legs. Nice and easy. Deep breaths. One more. And we're going to Mawashi Gary now. Now, when you strike Mawashi Gary, again, with a lot of our strikes, we're striking the side of the bag. So we don't want to hit the front here. In fact, with Mawashi Gary, I like to hit right between the, the front and the side. So right about 45 degrees here on my target. So if you have somebody holding the bag, they're not going to be holding it here or here. They're going to hold it like right in between. So you can get a great angle on that. So usually when somebody's in their Kamai, they're not like here. They're not here. Kind of, you know, if somebody's fighting you, they're at a 45 degrees. So that's how we would strike for Mawashi Gary. Try using the ball of the foot. Go easy, do not injure your foot, okay? So, um, again, connection, not injury, all right? So make sure to get those knees up as we kick. So when I throw that kick, my, my knee, my front knee is going down, my back knee is coming up into the side. You're not gonna have the foot come up here. It's a completely different kick. Knee comes up to the side, throwing my knee around, turning my support foot, kicking with the ball of the foot and landing Forward. Okay, don't kick and then land back and then step back. Make sure you're landing with your body weight into the target as you kick. Line yourself up with the back. Hands are up. Relax the knees and ankles. Again, try to kick to the, the between the side and the front of the back. Nice and easy. Turn that support foot. Your, your knees will thank you. Your, high, your kicks height if you want. 
Pull those toes back. Make sure to breathe. Good, and switch your feet. Line yourself with your bag. Remember, knee up, knee up. Come across, breathing out. Pull those toes back. I don't want any injuries on foot. You, again, you can kick here. You can kick knee height. You can kick hip height. You can kick head height. Whichever you're comfortable with. Make sure you have good connection, though. Make sure you're not coming off, uh, coming up out of your stance. From here. Ten times. High. away from it. Keep your hands up. power, a little bit more speed. See how high you can kick comfortably, all right? As long as the kick is connecting correctly. Switch your feet. Hands are up. Keep them up. Don't drop them as you kick. support foot as you're kicking, my kicking leg, the knee's coming up to the side, coming across. Ten times. Shake it out. Okay, I had planned for a couple more kicks, but due to kind of filling out the time, we are gonna skip those kicks. Those kicks were spinning back kick and hook kick. Um, I'm gonna show you them on the bag a couple times. Um, you can go through them at your own pace, kind of go through them slow, 10 times each side, and then throw them full speed, and then, uh, and then go full speed. So, first one, spinning back kick. Make sure you're lined up with your, your bag here. You're going to step across, lining your foot up with the side of the bag here, this edge of the bag. Turning, looking over your shoulder. Keep your hips in line with the bag right now. So you shouldn't be to the left or the right. You should still be lined up with, with the bag. Lifting the heel up, kick straight out, and then come down into your front stance. Don't kick and come down this way. You should be kicking through the bag and landing in a front stance. I'm going to show from my other stance now. From here, my foot comes to the edge of the bag. Spin. I'm looking over my shoulder. I'm not just turning my head. I'm turning my shoulder, looking. So I should see the, set, the, the, the center of the bag here. I actually see the whole bag here. But I see my target right now. I lift this heel up. Kick. Land. And see where I'm landing? I'm not landing here because I'm kicking through the bag. That's exactly what I want. Okay, for, for um, that was Ushiro Gary, for Uramawashi Gary, or hook kick, 
And what I'm going to do is throw, throw like a sidekick to the edge of the bag here. And then I'm going to hook across here with my heel. Um, for kumite, we use the ball of the foot. For um, the actual strike, though, we use the heel. So again, we're turning that support foot away just like a mawashigiri. It's just a reverse round kick. So as my foot comes up, I'm turning the support foot away. Foot comes around, and then hooks, and then comes down. So I don't have a great hook kick, but that's why we practice. So I'm up, hook, kick, and that was the ball of my foot. I'm try with my heel. Here, get your distance. I'm up, kick, and then try to land down. Again, this is not the easiest to do on a heavy bang. It's not made to the body. It's made for uh, lighter targets, okay? Anybody has a 100-pound head, you have a huge problem. So it's made for a lighter target like that. Literally, it's made for the head. So from here, I'm going to try from the other side. And he comes up, I'm kicking like a side kick here, and then hooking, hooking around here, landing down. Again, a little bit faster. Kick, and then try to land here. Okay, so from here, kick, land. Other side, kick, land. Be more flexible, folks. Get those kicks up. Okay, to finish, we're going to do three rounds of single techniques. But you get to choose what technique you'd like to do. It could be jab, reverse punch, front kick, in any order. But we're moving around the bag. So we're not, now we're, we're going to move around a little bit so I can throw a jab. Boom. Turn. He's on music. Boom. Adjust my distance. Wash your area. Boom. Now I have my other side here. Maybe I throw Gakuzuki. Wash your area. Gakuzuki. Step back. Maybe I step in. Empty. Step back. Earth in. Step through. Hammer fist. But single techniques for one minute. Okay, let me get my timer. Timer go. There we go. One minute with me. We're gonna do three rounds of this. This is where you can go full out on the back. Ready? Hajme, begin. Deep breath. Okay, that's one round. Two more to go. Try to work around the bag. Again, it's hard not to throw combinations. Uh, he may throw one and then be in the perfect position. Okay, pause for a second. Throw your next technique. But we really want to feel like that one technique really would have ended it. So it's not like I'm hitting him, boom, 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 boom. It's my technique. <laughs> That ended the conflict. So that's what we're aiming for with each strike, not just, just mindlessly throwing our limit at the target. So let's go another round. Take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Okay, uh, second round. Ready? Hodgman, begin.
Yummy. Okay, one last round. Deep breath in. And each round should feel a little bit smoother. It's like, kind of feel where you're at. You're gonna notice when you're, you've just thrown a, a close in strike, you may have to scoot back if you wanna kick. Um, so your footwork is gonna be taking a little bit of play into here. Again, we're really not focusing on footwork, um, but if you're, you're in a position to throw a close in strike, uh, throw it. If you're in a position to throw a kick, go ahead and throw it. So last round, ready? Deep breath in and out. Let's begin. Hushman. Okay, we're gonna for, we're, we're gonna we're in close class now, but I recommend you you cool down. Do a few stretches, stretch out your hands, hamstrings, stretch out your quadriceps, stretch out your shoulders. Okay, stretch out your lower back, and and even slight stretching on the on the wrists and the ankles and toes. Okay, so we've had a little bit of abuse today, so we need to take care of them and. Um, you know, I don't recommend doing like a lot of heavy bag every day, but a little bit can be tremendously helpful for our power, our technique, and even just building our body up to take some damage and to deliver some damage. And that's the point of a, a striking martial art. Os. All right, guys, you have a great day and I will see you next time. Os.